empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. I mean, I might, it, it might sound too philosophical. So what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is, the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. Not, if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Mm. But basically we have only two hands and two feet. I mean that is the expression of the human body. I mean the f everything, I mean you know not just the hand. And when you're talking about combat, well, I mean, if, if, it, if it is a sport, now now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules. But when you're talking about fighting as it is, oh, with no rules, no fighting. well then, baby, you better train every part of your body. Can you break five or six uh, pieces of wood with your hand or your foot? I'll probably break my hand and foot. <laughs> <laughs> Martial art has a very, very deep meaning as far as my life is concerned because uh, as an actor, as a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned. Martial art include all the combative arts like karate or judo. karate, judo, Chinese kung fu or Chinese boxing, whatever you call it, uh, all those. You see, like Aikido, Korean, I can go on and on and on. But it's a competitive form of fighting. No wonder you're successful in the <laughs> Chinese movies. They're full of this kind of action anyway. They needed a guy like you could... Violence, man. <laughs> so you didn't have to use a double when you moved into the bush yeah. and you here. You did it all yourself. Man, listen, you see, really, to me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then yeah. feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it. Or I can show you some f really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly like that, my friend, is very hard to do. And you have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you are determined to move. Not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch, I'm gonna do it, man. And I'm gonna do it, you see? So I mean, so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it. To become one with the, you think, You know what I want to think of myself as a human being? Because, I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, as Confucius say, but under the sky, under the heaven, man, there is but one family. It just so happened, man, that people are different. Be water, my friend. <laughs>